Jay. Don't get to come back in here, you two. I've got more files. Okay. Duncan O'Regan, security guard. Extraordinaire. Uh, yes. Yes, that, that, that's right. Yes, now, uh, you might be wondering what I was doing in there. Yes? Yeah, well, uh, I can explain. Good. Yeah, I, uh, well, uh, oh, yeah, I, 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 I checked the letter from your lawyer, and uh, it's authentic, so uh, I, I'm here to return it. Thanks. Okay. Oh, and, 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 uh, Good paper. I, I I just read your first edition. Uh, now, if you'd like to interview me sometime, I'm sure your readers would be fascinated by some of my experience as a security guard. Well, oh, bye for now. There was another intruder in the coach house. It was that Mr. O'Regan, Betta. We saw him steal a message that came through the transporter. But how do we know the message wasn't meant for him? Maybe he and Denita know each other. <laughs> Who he's working for. Okay. So what are the right questions? Well, 
We don't want questions that just get yes or no answers. You mean if the question is, do you like being a security guard? They'll just answer yes or no, and we won't find out why. That is correct. A better question would be, or, or, that's it. We've got to probe a little, ask questions that'll make them talk. Okay, let's go. And bring your camera. Did you discover the answer to the riddle? Yes, we did. It's a paint roller. See you later. A paint roller. I will reprogram. We all make mistakes, Otto. I was quoting an expression, Otto. Not a factual statement. Sometimes I wish your circuits would overload. would you say make a good security guard? Oh, bravery, courage, you know. You, you've got to have strong nerves in this business. Do you need bravery because you run into a lot of dangerous criminals? Oh, no, no, no. It's because you're in empty buildings alone at night when it's dark. It's a, it can be very scary, you know. Very scary. Did you know my uncle? Oh, yes, of course. Good friends we were. I often used to drop into his place for a cup of coffee when I was making my rounds. He's a good man. It's a shame about his death. Your present job is guarding King's Lane, isn't it? Yes, miss. That's my assignment at the moment. Could you tell us the name of your employer? The name of my employer? Well, no. Why would you want to know that? Uh, I'm sure our readers would like to know why someone is paying you to watch a whole street. Uh, it's an unusual assignment. Well, I, I, I'm sorry. I can't tell you that. Why not? Security guards are not allowed to divulge the names of their employers. It's, um, well, it's against the rules. Is it against the rules to tell us how long you've had this job? Oh, uh, only, a, only a few months. Now, I think that's all the questions I have Just time for. Just one more question, Mr. O'Regan. Yes? Uh, what do you like best about being a security guard? Oh, well, now that's an easy one. Dress it up. Here, I'll show you something. Now, this... This is my dress uniform. I wear it for special occasions. Very smart I look in it, too. Mr. O'Regan, I'm sure the Chronicle would really like a picture of you in your best uniform. Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, but it's for the front page. You yeah, well, now, if you insist. Sam, why don't you take Mr. O'Regan's leather jacket? Oh, All right, if you just hold that for me, I'll put this one on. Now, I, I'll just put the jacket on. I won't put on the whole uniform. Is that all right? Yep. You can just take your picture of the top part of it. That's the smart part of it, anyway. That. Looking all right? Yes. Now, are you, are you ready? Okay. Smile. We've only got that seven left. 
I think it's an S. It can't be. Salsa doesn't make any sense. Besides, all the other S's would be seven, too. Maybe it's an H. Then the word would be halted. Hey, that's right. Now it makes sense. This proves that the need is part of the conspiracy. More than that, he must be the leader of it. How do you know? The message said to need an order. You can't give orders unless you're the leader. And Mr. O'Regan must be one of his operators. Did you discover any additional information during your interview? Yes. We know that Mr. O'Regan tells lies. We do? Look at my notes. Here he said that he knew your own. And here he said... Now, how can he know your uncle if he's only had this job for a few months? You're right. My uncle disappeared seven years ago. There. That proves that Mr. O'Regan is lying. I'll bet he's taking orders from Dunedin. Yes, but the message said operators. That means there's more than one. Someone approaching... I'd uh, like to talk to somebody about the Dunedin adventure. Mm -hmm.